Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction. Lance with Destin Debris for episode 7 of Windbreaker. Feels like we're getting the Sakura fight, so let's dive in and see if we get the fight. We should be. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, <laughs> it's raining, man. I'm trying to look for karaoke bars in LA, by the way. Oh, sweet. Oh my goodness. Of course yeah. his story starts in the rain. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can't have sad boy hours without rain. Oh, that's gonna be like his brother or something. Oh, tragic backstory. I didn't realize his hair was braided. I thought he just had a rat tail. One punch. That's not gonna be one punch. It'd be very anticlimactic. Yeah, no, it's not. Ah. Ah, rude. Two of those were the true. <laughs> Try yeah. not to die. Go have a nice long talk. Thanks, Gojo. Thanks, Great. Gojo. Oh. Oh, what? Okay, <laughs> shit. Excuse me? Yeah. He's going for grabs. Oh, yeah. My he God. loves those takedowns. He's trying to do takedown and then ground and pound his ass. Yeah. Like we saw earlier. Oh, yeah. He really wants to be on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the best way probably to put it would be, I hate to say it like this, but Bleach, right? You had all the peons, but once you got to vice captains, yeah, and then captains on top of that, like, that's when you get ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang, he bounced yeah, but... off him. He's okay. He's watch him recover. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, he's about to stand up. Got him. Ah, ooh. Oh. Ow. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. You were saying about the shoes? I said, good for him for fighting him. I bet. Uh, get up. How you speak and everything. Oh, going his own Ooh. chain down. Oh, good counter. You can't. He knows how to counter those. You can't. Oh, you can't use his own move. Yeah, that him. was a bad idea. Jesus. He'll be fine. Nah, motherfucker, I was soloing this whole shit for the longest time. Right? It's a good analogy, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck that. Gotcha, bitch. So you forget what they got the protagonist of the show. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that music switch. I still wouldn't be surprised if he lost, though, because this is No, it would make sense. Dang, the bloody knuckles. Oh, nice. Ooh. Flip to a kick. That's actually more impressive than anything. Stopping mm -hmm. a slide right. on those. You're done. Oh, you that's that. broken you ribs. Oh, that's broken ribs. That's eh, fine. Ooh. If this truly is like other shows, then the more he beats up, the stronger he gets. I guess. Or if it's like bleach, you get stabbed in the stomach, you get stronger. Hey, they had powers. This is this is realistic. <laughs> this ain't realistic, my say, ass. I... <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, as far as bodies go, it's realistic. More so than someone having a bonkai. Yeah. <laughs> well, no shit. I'm just saying. Protagonist power still, regardless if it's realistic or not. I guess. I still think he, he might loses. get his ass beat. <laughs> Look, I'm still catching my breath from him being struck in the stomach. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah he wears those shoes to punish people. 
That's smart, honestly. I mean, he's essentially wearing two by fours on his feet. There he is. Yeah. Like I was saying. Uh, <laughs> How dare you make me bleed my own blood? To the blood. No, yeah, this oh. is like bleach because somebody bleeding that much from their face would have been dead. Oh, she absolutely. Called him a bully. Let me guess that f that f that friend we saw earlier was probably bullied from his backstory. Okay, you need to move. He's gonna break your spine, dude. That yeah. probably knocks him out. Catch it. That already moved his head. Oh, he, he missed. Oh, he missed. That is the worst lie. Oops. Damn. Y'all had a chance of leaving here alive, and now you don't. Man really hates bullying. Like I said, it probably I'm telling has... you, that was his little brother or something. That something we saw happened, the yeah. A, a good friend brother or something. That could pop up. And this kid's just crazy, which we already knew that. Yeah, that's gonna be a crazy fight later. I just, I just joined. Gotcha. Mm. Once again, anime showing what happens when an extrovert adopts an introvert. I was say, that's all I'm seeing right now is an extrovert adopting an introvert. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Their jackets are cool. I just don't like the color. I'm not a big yeah. yellow fan. I don't despise the color. At least it's like a darker yellow and it's not like annoying. And it doesn't clash. Like I, yeah. I respect that. I do much prefer our Bofurin guys because the green and black always works really well together. But I'm curious I'm to see the other. I'm just a sucker for a Letterman jacket and that's exactly what that is. So I'm waiting for those to be on sale sometime soon from the show. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to be like, what's your fucking backstory? Then you're trying to be the freest guy. Right. That is kind of raising, <laughs> raising red flags. I mean, yeah. he was already a big red flag anyway. But... <laughs> he was probably locked up as a child. Right. I mean, I, I still want to know what happened to this guy. Because, like, yeah. in these flashbacks here, he's yeah. almost as calm as, like, Asahi from, like, IQ. Like, what happened? Yeah. Because he's unhinged now. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it unhinged until he heard about the bullying. Then he was very unhinged there. That was when the Fire Nation attacked. For real. I really thought that. And there's the famous words. Mm -hmm. I thought that. Uh oh, comes the rain. Please blink. Um, You're starting to worry me. Please blink. Yeah. <laughs> his Please blink. blink right now is what we're seeing. Please blink. <laughs> Not fun at all. See, when you're covering up trauma with fighting, it's not gonna be. Oh. Yikes. Uh, about that. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, you sweet summer butterfly. Oh my god. Was, like, this person we think of the ground beaten up by our fucking Choji dude? Oh, okay, never mind. He's already oh. like, I'm already on my way, baby. Oh. Oh. Turn into Mikey real quick. Mikey would have looked at them and they died. <laughs> Dracky would have done it first, honestly. You're going to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He takes his jacket off. So everything changed when Choji attacked. Jesus. 
Honestly, it feels like you two need to have a fight because. <laughs> yeah. So you two got the problems. There it is. Everything changed because Choji lost his shit even further. Uh oh. Oh. Not the dull eyes. Okay, so our leader fight's gonna be Gojo having to psychoanalyze it and give him psychology while fighting him. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not the mysterious disappearances eyes. Yeah, seriously. There's curiosity <laughs> over there. So are you trying to become stronger so you can beat him and knock him out of whatever craziness he's in? Yeah, I was like, what is the plan here to bring him back to the way he was? I'll do all the skinning. Oh. I'll be the bad guy to protect you. Gotcha. Okay, Lelouch. Okay. You're not wrong. Yeah. You want your leader to be loved. So he put on a he put on a persona mask. That you can... Yeah, but you gotta talk to your friend because he needs some help, obviously. See, I predicted originally a double KO. Yeah, I was gonna say. Maybe? I mean, I can see the protagonist losing, though, too. Oh, what's the hair? Then your okay, there's there. the Aizen! There's the Aizen! No, okay, yeah, I might as well have a, the, you know, the jokes and shit we're making and, and the fights there. I mean, yeah, it totally makes sense why he... Because he was a nice dude. He became this persona, this asshole to the group. Not asshole but he came the guy to skin all and call the herd that's another reason why he beat the shit mm -hmm. out of those two guys after the whole bullying incident yeah because they were the ones who basically instigated this whole fucking thing and this whole thing is he's simping hard for choji there to smile again and you know instead of doing the correct thing it was just asking him what the fuck changed because something obviously happened slash yeah trauma maybe from choji's side came out finally because he talks about being the, the freest guy which usually tends to be some sort of backstory that caused you to to become you you want to become the freest guy like you were saying maybe locked up as a child something along those lines being weighed down by society i don't know i don't think it's yeah. that deep but it feels like once we get the leader fight that'll that'll come to fruition because they did the, the standard trope it works in the show especially that as you fight somebody you understand them more um mm. but yeah so he's not a bad guy as much as he was just trying to put on this face to protect his leader but then his friends but, you know, that isn't, that's not healthy. Yeah. It's not healthy yeah. at all. It's not healthy at all. I need Ed from the psychologist dude who does anime. I need him to, to react to the show. Um, <laughs> For real. But, like I said earlier, I think I think we're going to need Gojo here, slash the leader of our dudes, to psychoanalyze and help out the, the dude there. But, yeah, it was a good fight. And, and honestly, yeah, if our boy would have lost, if he would have landed that hit, um, probably. Oh, yeah, he would have been dumb. But, I mean, we thought he was done twice with the whole crushing in the face. Nope, protagonist powers activate. Slash, he's tough, yeah. right? And he's fighting for a reason and all that shit. Um, <laughs> these chibis always make me laugh. Oh, why was that blurred? Why is that even oh. further blurred? They're talking about when he was smashing his head in with the clog. Oh, Damn. well, speaking yeah. of that. <laughs> he's like, here's the wound. Him covering yeah. his eyes up. <laughs> This character growth is going to be good, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so like, once again, I mean, you keep, we keep, you know, saying it, but music top notch. I just, the, the animation is clean to consistent. That's all I ever care for, honestly, in, in this. And, and their use of 3D movement with the camera, fantastic with fight scenes. Cleverworks is really, yeah. really doing really a well, good job. I mean, as of right now, best fights for this year, it's got to be between Kaizen and this show right now mm -hmm. uh, that we saw. But, uh, was Kaizen? No, Kaizen was last year. Um, so so far this year, so far the best fights are this show, 
so far, but I, I'm forgetting fights have happened already, but we haven't seen all the fights left in the show either, so. Uh, sure. But really well choreographed, tells a really good story, good fast mo- uh, motions there that we can kind of keep up, and that's what I like about fights, is you kind of want to keep up. Uh, mm-hmm. You can see what's happening, and the styles and stuff like that. The dude was using his size to his advantage by trying to take our boy down, stuff like that, but so far, so good. Great fight uh, so far. Uh, probably end up wrapping up next episode. Um, uh, yeah, awesome fight. Yep. I've been waiting all week. Good job. <laughs> I'm fighting the sandals will make me scared. I wouldn't be able to even run in those. Yeah. yeah. You got to learn to walk in them first, to be honest, because you got to mm-hmm. learn balance. I would uh, say the blisters alone would take me out. Like, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> be careful. Try not to die. The more he talks, the more I love him more. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio is just so great. Uh, people hating on a boy's backstory. I don't see why you're hating on it. I, he, he just made the wrong decisions. He's not an adult yeah. either, so it makes sense. I was, um, you gotta remember, these are still kids. Yeah, I mean, he's making the wrong decision. She's, you know, and when you're that age, one of the most important things to you is your friends because you're not paying bills, you're not doing all this other stuff. So, oh, yeah, there's a big person who's bitching about the backstory. Hey, that's how you tell a good fight. Sorry. Um, I like the backstory now. I don't want any of them to lose. That's like honestly, like I I think double KO just sounds right, even yeah. though it could be a cop out. I just feel like it it would sound it would work. You say face for our dude here, and you say face for Sakura. I can see any off you know anything happening. I can see Sakura winning. Um, I can see honestly now that I think about, it, I can see Choji interfering and knocking him out. Um, yeah. the boy out, and then. Sakura gets pissed because he didn't finish his fight, and then leader has to show up. I am super hyped for that fight. Um, yeah. We have not seen this man move an inch. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's just a really good master at talking to Jutsu. He's like ascended to Naruto level of talking to Jutsu, Damn. and he just talks wow. you into losing yourself. <laughs> he's like, no, you're not, you're not losing. You're finding yourself. That's how he wins. <laughs> he's, he's secretly a psychologist as well as a fighter. He just yeah. He just talks to you like this. And you're just Damn. like, you start crying. He's like, what the fuck's happening? I don't know. Let's go, Joe. In the middle of the fight. How does that make you feel? He didn't even land a punch. <laughs> yeah, he didn't land a physical punch, but emotionally. Yeah. Emotional damage. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's basically how that happened. Anyway, of course we're joking. But yeah, super hype. Good episode once again. I love the show a lot. Let us know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. And we'll talk to you soon in another direction. Peace.